let a and b be positive integers such that a b plus 1 divides a square plus b square. Show that a square plus b square divided by a b plus 1 is the square of an integer. This is the infamous problem 6 submitted by West Germany for the 1988 International Mathematical Olympiad held in Canberra, Australia. When the problem was submitted, none of the six members of the Australian Problem Committee could solve it. Two of the members, George and Esther Sikaris, were famous problem solvers and creators. Since it was a number theory problem, it was sent to the four most renowned Australian number theorists, who were given six hours to work on it. However, none of them could solve this problem within the time limit. Despite its difficulty, the problem was submitted to the jury of the 29th IMO, where it was marked with a double asterisk indicating that it was a super hard problem and possibly too difficult to include. After considerable debate, the jury decided to present it as problem six. To everyone's surprise, 11 students were able to solve it perfectly. Now we attempt to solve this super hard problem. We will use the proof by contradiction. Let K be the quotient of the expression. Since AB plus one divides A square plus B square, and both a and b are positive integers, k must also be a positive integer. To prove by contradiction, assume k is not a square number. The equation can be rearranged as a square plus b square minus k, a b minus k equals zero. There could be infinitely many pairs of a and b that satisfy this equation. Let A and B are the smallest positive number pair that satisfy the equation for a specific value of K. Without loss of generality, we can consider A is greater than or equal to B. Then we can consider this as a quadratic equation in terms of A. This can be expressed as F of X equal X square minus KBX plus B square minus K equals zero. Quadratic equations have two roots. If A is one root, there must be another root, let's say a1. For roots a and a1, we can write x minus a times x minus a1 equals 0. Expand the brackets, and we can compare the coefficient of each term. Then we get a plus a1 equal kb, and a times a1 equal b square minus k. Now, we will consider the nature of a1. From the first equation, we get a1 equal kb minus a, which is an integer because kb and a are integers. From the second equation, we also get a1 equal to b square minus k over a. By assumption, k is not a square number. The numerator b square minus k is not zero, meaning a1 is not zero. Since a1 is the root of this equation, f of a1 equals zero. We can rearrange the equation as a1 square plus b square over a1b plus 1 equal k. The numerator is positive because it is the sum of squares. Since k is also positive, the denominator a1b plus 1 must also be positive. Given that b is a positive integer, a1 must be non-negative. Combining these three facts, we conclude that a1 is a positive integer. So a1b is another pair of positive integers for the equation. Since a and b are the smallest pairs, we can conclude that a1 must be greater than a. This is our first conclusion. But wait, because a is greater than or equal to b, then a square is greater than b square minus k. Dividing both sides of the inequality by a, we get a is greater than b square minus k over a. This expression is the same as a1 meaning a is greater than a1. Now we have a contradiction, a is both smaller than and greater than a1. This contradiction stems from our assumption that k is not a square number. Therefore, by contradiction, k is a square number.